As Senator Donnelly pushes an American jobs bill, there's another push in D.C. to help U.S. companies. This week, the White House invited one person per state for its Made in America campaign. Indiana State House Bureau Chief Nick Notario spoke exclusively to the Indiana owner. Right here, this is the business that was shown off to the rest of the country at the White House. Brimcorn Johnny's in southern rural Indiana is what represented the Hoosier State at the White House. Newton got into this about seven years ago. He makes everything by hand using material from the 1800s, machines that is. He was totally caught off guard last week when someone from the White House gave him a call. We caught up with Newton today and find out what it was like, not only for him and his wife, to be invited to something like this. Well, I'll be honest with you. I felt a little bit like a cross between Forrest Gump and, and the Clampets. Uh, we pulled up to the White House in, a pick, in our working pickup truck with a utility shell on it. It's not just showing off American-made goods. President Trump signed this executive order. And tomorrow, we're going to explain exactly how this could help Hoosier businesses and people looking for work. And also, in our exclusive interview tomorrow, you're going to hear from more from these small business owners in Indiana that were re represented at the White House about how they say this trip could change their lives. Reporting from Elizabeth, Indiana State House Bureau Chief Nick Notario.